The magnificent Marvel multiverse is filled with some wonderfully weird characters, but only one character mm -hmm. outweirs them all. Yeah, me. Look how long my tongue is. <laughs> weird, right? Not even close, Toad. I'm talking about this guy. A floating green potato? That's not that weird. Today we're going to learn why Toad is wrong and why Duke is the weirdest character ever on Marvel's Long Story Short. Say hello to Duke. Duke first appeared as a member of X-Force, then as a member of X-Statics, and finally as a regular old X-Man. And he's even solved some mysteries with Wolverine in his spare time. Duke and Logan are on the case, but... So he's a mutant. If you're in that many comics starting with X, you gotta be a mutant. Uh, maybe, but maybe not. Dupe is more like, uh, more like, uh... Hey, does anyone actually know what Dupe is? Maybe he's an alien. I heard he was a biological super weapon created by the U.S. government. So no one really knows that much about Dupe's origins, except that he's a floating green thing who speaks his own language most of the time and has a mother he doesn't get along with. He floats and farts with his mum. That ain't weird. Now my trusty old floor snatcher. That's a weird power. Floating and hating his mom are not Duke's only powers. He can create psionic blasts comparable to Professor X's. He's strong enough to knock down the God of Thunder. How about these slime balls? And he can get bigger and smaller at will. <laughs> It's weird, I guess, but I still think my tongue is weirder. We're just getting started. His pimples are a portal to a nightmare dimension. His body can duplicate matter. And he has a backup brain in his butt. Why would anyone need that? Because sometimes the one in his head explodes. And now we know why Dupe is the weirdest Marvel character of them all, thanks to Marvel's Long Story Short. I still say he looks like a green potato.